Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to add a pagination links to a Lyra component. So from the screen, you can see this is the, the to-do management application I developed. So I take it as an example. So from the screen, you can see there's a list of items I created. But I, sometimes I don't want to show all of them on the page. I hope I can split them into pages. So five, say five items per page. So how can we do that? Let me show you here. Lava actually has already provided a full solution for pagination. So you just need a very few lines of code to, to support the feature. So you can go through the documentation for Lyra pagination. Now let me code it for for you, and you will see how easy it can be can be done. So for the to do list, I have extracted the functionality into a separate function here. Uh, we I want to say I want to paginate the page. So that I, I see five items per page. So this is what I am going to do. So we call paginate with five. So you should be able to just see five items on the page. Okay. Next step is to add the links, the pagination links to, to the page. That's something also very easy. So in the live component, the template can have a piece of markup, something like this. So to do list is the Lamarol eloquent collection. And uh, we just links function to populate the, the pagination links to the page. So if you see here, this is the, the links. Also, in the to-do list component, we need to add a live while with pagination, pagination trait. So if you look into the implementation, this trait gives you a bunch of functions that have been used by the Lyra component, more specifically by the pagination links. Okay, now let's refresh a page and inspect the, the link like this. So you can see the in the page two, the bottom, so the go to page function is bind associated with while click. So this is the click handler go to page, which is implemented by the trait. So this is how we, how the pagination links are implemented. Let's see if it works. Okay, seven items. Now let me add a new item simply just writing and uh, let's see may the ace okay it should be on the second page you can see the item results there are eight results which was seven now it's working and uh, if you delete something demo preparation i don't need it anymore i delete so you can see seven items this is the one to five the first five items and these, these are last, last two. Okay, so this is the pagination links. But what if we want to customize the UI? It's also very easy. Say, I don't want to show this text or I don't want the, the UI of the links. I just need two buttons, next and previous. We can do it in this way. First step, we go to a template in the links call, we can provide a view, view name, pagination. 
So this is a view, which we need to implement in the view folder. Where is the folder? Okay, it's here, view. As we just give pagination to the links function, so this view, this template can be, should be found in the root folder of views. So pagination PHP. Okay, let's just put two simple bottom there. Previous. This is just for demonstration purpose, so I'm not going to put any classes to to those buttons. So while click, what you need to put here is the function in with pagination trait. For previous page, there are function called previous page, and for next next page, we just use them in the template. Okay, let's refresh the page. You can see now the pagination links has have been changed. The pagination bar has just two buttons, previous and next. So if I click next, nothing there because that's already end of the, the results. So oh, previous, previous, okay. So you can see now, we can customize by reusing the, the functions provided by the trait. Okay, so this is how I can create a, okay, I remove this uh, customize template, which should look really rough. I use the default one. It's more beautiful, at least. Okay, so this is how we can we can implement pagination links on on the page in Liveware component. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope it helps. Feel free to comment and uh, let let me know if you have any question. See you next time. Bye bye.